Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be round three of Fighting Spirit Mania. Of course, every map played is Fighting Spirit, but this time we have a very special matchup. We've got DeWalt versus Siki, BSL 13, second place versus fourth place, which lets you know it is going to be an intense match. DeWalt starting in the upper right in corner as the purple Protoss, upper left in corner. We have Ziki starting as the blue Zerg, and Ziki actually on his BSL 14 account even. Overlord making his way across the northern side of the map. And, yeah, I don't know who to favor here. I think DeWalt has the stronger PVZ. Ziki is no slouch. Took out Bonneth, although Bonneth did have COVID, which was a bit of information I didn't have while casting that. Speaking of which, I am going to... I think I'm casting this weekend. I'm not positive. But I believe I'm casting <laughs> BSL 14 opener this weekend. But yeah, this is going to be an intense match. Both of these guys, really good at adjusting. DeWalt has kind of a, what do we want to call it? It'll be interesting as well, because this also has implications for the next season of BSL, with these two guys playing each other. In fact, I would not be shocked if this is a preview of the BSL Season 14 Finals. Gateway on the low ground. To allow So piling up high, gateway on the low ground, nifty trick, to allow the Zelts to get a little bit more speed as they're being produced. Ziki on the opposite side of the map looks like he's going to opt for a 12th hatch. So Zealots are potentially going to be in his natural expansion. Thing with DeWalt and his current playstyle, he just seems to find a way to weave Zealots in completely underneath vision. He just has this game sense of where overlords are at at any point in the map. And he just seems to be able to thread groupings of zealots at just amazing timings into his opponent's base. Ziki, however, oftentimes I think it welcomes that style of play. Looks like he sees that expansion, knows what he's up against, has that spawning pool dropping. I'm curious if he's going to try to dedicate a something colony early Defensively, it looks like he's sending out at least an initial drone. This drone might be here just to try to distract the Zealot midfield. Looks like he's dancing it around, yeah, mid position. Just potentially, yeah, to slow the engagement. Currently, DeWalt still has not scouted Ziki's position, but he knows the position uh, via the process of elimination. Yeah, the drone doing a little bit of delay, trying to box that Zealot out. Unfortunately, the Zealot just taking one shot and the drone moving a little bit out of the way. Not quite able to provide the distraction. It looks like that hatchery is going to finish. There's no cancellation there. The spawning pool just finishing. There's plenty of larva. But what this is going to do is this is going to force larva into lings rather than drones early. The drone's still trying to create a bit of distraction and delay just so the zealot can't just march straight to the main. Additional pair of zerglings being built right here. So zerglings are on the way. The zealot still might have an opportunity to take a shot at this drone. This drone is going to go ahead and go getting on the gas line, but you can see just DeWalt's speed with that lower expansion and also kind of pocketing that Zealot in that back line, which is going to make it even more challenging. A second, well, actually a probe running forward to get in the midst of the action. It looks like a second Zealot's going to stay at home base just in case there is a counter. This drone going to go wander out, try to take that third. DeWalt wants to try to interrupt that. While all that was happening, it looks like the Zerglings were able to take that Zealot out behind that back line. It doesn't look like any drones were killed, but there's a lot of Zerglings that are now out on the field, and DeWalt is going to need to defend his front because the Zerglings are streaming that direction. It might be a quick one. Actually, Pylon blocking the 9 o'clock, but I think he wanted to potentially spare the minerals to build some additional cannons because there's a bunch of Zerglings coming this direction. There's only two Zealots to try to contend with it. The Forge is just now finishing. There's no probe to drop the cannon immediately, and these Zerglings, they're insufficient numbers. They might be able to take out that gateway and open up the front. DeWalt taking some free damage on this Zealot as he's peeking out as well. Trying to... Yeah, he can't even get on that corner. It looks like the Zealot is going to get surrounded on that right edge. That's getting wiped out. Second Zealot's going to spawn, but not before all the rest of the Zealots. And this Zealot not even able to get an attack before it's already at half health. More Zerglings are on the way across the minimap. The probes are getting taken out on the corner. The cannon has not yet warped in. This gateway's taking a lot of damage. And the Zerglings have already gotten in. A, a two drones. What? A Miss Rally there. Two drones going to come up. That cannon's down. And now that front is completely breached. DeWalt getting a little bit too greedy against Ziki. But this is what Ziki does. Ziki will oftentimes... Oh, and he's... Are you kidding me? He dropped the Nexus? He dropped the Nexus instead of a cannon. Talk about greed here. Still trying to push this out. More Zer A Zealot 
scooted through. It looks like he managed to get one kill, trying to create some distraction in the midst of this. But the Zerglings, Zeke doing a good job of microing here, getting the Zerglings back on that corner. DeWalt still trying to fight it out. The Zealots managed to get two kills. I'm not sure Lair is finishing. It looks like that 9 o'clock pace working as well. But the, here's the thing. Even if... Yeah, there's GG from DeWalt. The GGG, double GG, as good a game it was. I think that is the level of action we should expect out of these two. So DeWalt overextending a little bit early. And that is the thing that Zeke capitalizes on the most in this matchup. He just seems to be an expert at building a sufficient enough defense force. And then when his opponent overextends, he pounces on them and then ends up winning games. And it just seems to be, what I find incredible is he seems to do that at every stage of the game. Stage uh, from the early game to the mid game to the late game. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.